welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while, so I figured I'd just take the leap and go for it. Um, so I wanted my first video to be to talking about autoimmune diseases. So for those of you who don't know, an autoimmune disease is when your body attacks itself. I got diagnosed with the autoimmune disease of alopecia when I was 11 or 12. Um, so this was an autoimmune disease where my white blood cells were attacking my hair follicles, causing all my hair to fall out. Um, so I wore extensions and wigs for about five or six years of my life. So all throughout high school, I had to wear wigs. Um, so this was just kind of like a band-aid <laughs> fix. I was trying to fix it through Western medicine. I went to so many doctors, so many dermatologists. Um, I did basically everything imaginable. So cortisone shots, drops, creams, everything. None of it worked. I even took this like weird silk. It was like silica, but it was chalky. I like ordered it from Germany from because some random person recommended it and like I, everything, every recommendation from hairdressers, dermatologists, like every single person gave me their recommendation and I tried it and nothing worked. Um, so I just basically learned to live with it. I was about 16 or 17 when I fully gave up on just trying anything. I was so over it. I was just like, this is something that I have in my life and I'm just going to learn to live with it. And then when I was 18, I started to research into nutrition more. So I researched into kind of alternative ways of healing the body. Um, I first started with a vegan diet. That wasn't really the answer. That didn't really work out for me. And then I just got really fascinated by this, which led me to go to school in Vancouver for nutrition, which I loved. I learned lots of stuff. And um, so I started learning about the connection between the gut. And this really surprised me because like no one has ever told me this. I never heard of this before. So basically your, your immune system is in your gut, which is your lower intestine and they kind of work hand in hand. So if your gut's off, your immune system's usually off, vice versa. So I've never heard this before and I was really surprised to know about this and know that it was just such a like easy, I don't wanna say easy fix, but it was such a simple thing. Like your digestive system isn't working so the rest of your body's not gonna work. And then, so I started doing that. I started cutting out things that irritate the gut. So I started cutting out inflammatory foods such as gluten, dairy, different nightshades, um, refined sugar, all that processed food, that kind of stuff. And that was really helping. So I cut out all of the stuff and then started supplementing with good things to repair the gut. So I started taking probiotics, which is good bacteria for your gut, and that's gonna fight off the bad bacteria and give you a good balance. So I started doing that, drinking kombucha, that kind of stuff. And then I also started supplementing with collagen and bone broth to help repair the cells of the gut. And this was super, super easy because the cells in your gut turn over so fast. So it was like, I noticed a difference within the week. And just like how I was feeling and that kind of stuff. So I started doing all this stuff and it was working really well. And then this was probably when I was about 19 and a half. I had a spot about that big and I felt so discouraged. Like I literally was crushed. I, cause I was like, I was wearing my own hair for all, I was doing all that kind of stuff and that helped my hair grow enough to actually wear it out. So that was a super exciting time for me. It was so emotional. I was so happy because Prior to that, I hadn't worn my natural hair since I was 11. So I came from just being so overjoyed and so happy and then crushed when I found out my hair was falling out again. So I felt completely defeated. So I went to a naturopath and I found out that I had a really bad iron deficiency. So she was like, oh, that might be it. Start taking iron and I did and it helped. And then she was also like, your body is under so much stress. Like, this is crazy. It was just never really like anything that I thought about. Like I knew it was stress, but it wasn't anything that I thought that was affecting my life and my health. So I kind of started to take that more seriously. Um, she recommended that, you know, you gotta deal with your stress or else your body's just not gonna heal itself. So I started doing that. I started really focusing on my mental health. I started going to therapy, meditating, journaling, all that kind of stuff. And it was crazy how fast it worked. Like nobody talks about stress with autoimmune disease and how awful it is for the body or how, especially alopecia because it's your hair, like hair falling out, hormones, all that kind of stuff. Like stress was just the worst thing for my body at the time. Like it was so bad. And it just really proved to me that like I can do everything like by the book, every, eating all the right foods, every supplement, everything. And if I don't take care of my mental health, like it's all useless. It's all good for nothing. Like your body is not going to heal itself if it's under stress. So I started doing that and then, you know, I made some different life changes. I just had a toxic situation. I started looking at life a little bit differently. I kind of just worked on stuff like that. And then I wasn't stressed anymore. I, or I had lower stress and I 
kind of saw that my hair started to come back. Also, that my hair was coming back better. Like, when I first started seeing my hair coming back and stopped wearing wigs and extensions, it was probably about, like, that short. And it was just, like, really dead and really... It looked like bleached hair almost, but it like it was all new hair. So I noticed that it was coming back a lot nicer, a lot thicker, um, fuller, that kind of stuff. And yeah, so that was just kind of my big like awakening, I'd say, is that like I really have to take care of my mental health and I really have to take care of my body. And I like, I can't be, you know, it's just, it was a really, really big awakening for me, I would say, is that you just, I don't know, you can do every single thing right, and if you don't take care about what's going on in your head, then it's, nothing is going to work. So yeah, I just thought, I thought all that was really interesting to me, especially because, like, I spent hours, like, hours a day researching alopecia when I was a little girl, like, and I didn't find anything about gut health, I didn't find anything about that kind of stuff. So it was just really, it was really eye-opening to me that no one was talking about it. I mean, now it's probably a little bit different. Back then it wasn't as common to talk about natural health and alternative healing and that kind of stuff. So I basically just want to make this video out for anybody who's struggling with an autoimmune disease and maybe looking at it from a different way. This is what cured me, but you know, that might, it might not be the same for everyone. So, but I've been having my own hair for about two and a half years with no spots, no falling out, like nothing. So it's been a really good experience for me. I really loved looking into natural health. I really loved learning about all this kind of stuff. I thought it was so fascinating and it, it honestly cured me and it really did change my life. So I just wanted to make this video and see if, you know, anybody else is struggling with the same thing. If anybody has a similar story, maybe a different autoimmune disease, feel free to reach out to me and connect. I love listening to all kinds of different stories and different diseases and ways that you cured them and that kind of stuff. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. And um, yeah, hit subscribe, like this video, and let me know if this helped you in any way. Thanks.